Hi, I hope you're having a great day. Well, today I want to talk about turmeric. We've spoken in length about turmeric and curcumin and its impact on human health. Turmeric, also known as the golden spice across the world. Today, if you're in San Francisco and you buy something called a golden latte, what you're getting is nothing but milk. It could be normal milk, it could be almond milk, it could be a coconut milk with some turmeric or curcumin added to it and it's called a golden latte. And yes, it is fantastic for our health. Now, what we want to talk about today is turmeric and the combination of black pepper. You see, there's something called synergies of foods. We Google superfoods and we can completely, you know, we start consuming them, expecting them to change our health or to perform a miracle. There is no superfood in the world that will perform a miracle the way it is sold to you, the way it is designed and sold to you through ads and marketing. There's something called synergies of foods. So some foods work better with fat soluble uh, foods. So for example, like turmeric alone, will not be absorbed into your bloodstream unless it has or it's enhanced by black pepper. Black pepper has an active compound called piperine. Piperine boosts the bioavailability or the absorption of curcumin, which is the active compound that does the magic of turmeric into your blood system. So you see turmeric has an active compound. They are called curcum uh, uh, curcuminoids. Now these curcuminoids, basically, the short form is curcumin. Curcumin is highly anti-inflammatory. It is highly antioxidant and even antibacterial and antifungal. So now, don't get me wrong, when we talk about these things, turmeric is not gonna take away your cancer. Turmeric is not gonna reverse your type two diabetes. Turmeric is not gonna take away your pain and inflammation completely, but it is gonna enable your body to do it. So we shouldn't make claims about all of these things, but yes, when we put anti-inflammatory foods and spices into our diet, we know today that most diseases from cardiovascular, heart attacks, we look at Alzheimer's, we look at brain strokes, we look at dementia, we look at Parkinson's, we look at diabetes, we look at obesity, and we look at cancer. These are inflammatory diseases where the cells get inflamed, they cannot perform their function, there are mutations or they close up to absorbing insulin into them, inflammatory diseases. Most heart attacks today, most cardiac arrests are caused not because of high cholesterol, but because of inflammation in the arteries. Now, if we have a diet that is rich in anti-inflammatory foods, that's how we enable the body to heal. There's no way that turmeric, no one can make a claim that curcumin is gonna keep my heart healthy or take away my heart problems or my cancer. But if we use it the right way, that is what we mean by healing. We're not talking about airy-fairy healing. We're talking about using, giving every cell in the human body. Every disease in the human body, every condition starts from a cell. You are made from a cell. When you have a hair fall problem, you first think, what's wrong with my cell? Why is my follicle unable to hold on to that strand of hair and lets it fall off or gray too early in life? You look at cancer, you look inside of your cell. You look at diabetes, you look at inside of your cell. Heart, everything starts from a cell. Therefore, our focus has to be at a mitochondrial level, which means what is going wrong with my cell? Now, when you look at spices, you look at vitamins and nutrients from food, these have the ability to get into your cell to either correct a function or to destroy a function. So coming back to turmeric, you can go on popping as many turmeric pills as you want to, or you can keep putting heaps of teaspoons of turmeric in all of your cooking. But if it doesn't have pepper, if it doesn't have piperine in, you're not absorbing most of it. So now when we combine turmeric with pepper, this is one reason why I love Indian food. I love other cuisines around the world as well. But Indian food, usually, what are the bases of an Indian masala? We put turmeric, we put onion, we put tomato, we put cumin, we put black pepper. So you see the wisdom of Indian food is the synergy. We have so many things working to not just add taste to the food, but to also improve the absorption of it. It's not about what you eat. It's about how your body assimilates, breaks down, and absorbs what you eat. If we are not absorbing what we eat, it is not reaching your cells and doing the magic, which is why we look at the health of our gut, because all absorption happens in our gut. We have poor gut health. It doesn't matter how many blueberries, blackberries, red berries, purple berries you're eating. It doesn't matter because you're not absorbing it because you have poor gut health. Now, if I want to make turmeric work for all of us, it first needs to be absorbed. So we combine turmeric with black pepper. So people, some people like nutraceuticals, some people buy supplements like curcumin, they're fantastic. But you flip over the label. If your curcumin doesn't have piperine in it, you are not gonna be able to absorb it into your system. 
Likewise, you don't want to use curcumin supplements. You look at the turmeric that you put in your curries or your food, add black pepper. Some people wake up in the morning, they have warm water with turmeric. That's fine with ginger, fine. Add black turmeric, uh, black pepper, freshly ground black pepper that will improve the absorption. Now there's one more thing which increases the absorption over and beyond just the pepper, it's fat. You see certain vitamins in the body, minerals, certain compounds are fat soluble, which means we consume it with some amount of fat. So a lot of people use a tablespoon of ghee or a teaspoon of ghee, depending on yourself, your weight and everything else, with a little bit of turmeric and black pepper. Now a teaspoon of pure ghee with turmeric and black pepper isn't just good for your digestion, your inflammation, it is great for your skin. It is unbelievably great for your skin, for people who have esophageal problems, acidity and all of these things. So if it suits you, you can do it that way. If you're consuming turmeric and pepper, make sure it's either before or after a meal. Even if you're taking a curcumin tablet, before or after a meal, because our meal will have some amount of fat and that fat helps us further absorb the turmeric and the piperine into our system. So that is why we combine. So now if I'm gonna have just milk and turmeric, but I add like a dash of black pepper to it, guess what? It's gonna improve, it's gonna improve the overall health benefit of having your golden latte or your haldi milk or whatever it is. Just a dash of pepper. Some people add a drop of olive oil, some people add a little bit of ghee, some people add a teaspoon of coconut oil. As long as you have some fat going in with it, it's absolutely fine. Now, if you're having full fat milk or full cream milk, which already has fat in, then you don't have to add that because the full cream and the full fat milk already has fat in. You add the turmeric and you have it. Of course, you're vegan and you don't do anything, any of that, or you're lactose intolerant. You can also add turmeric in so many other different ways to your food. So when you're eating a khichdi, for example, most khichdis have turmeric in already. Most Indian curries, most Indian preparations, foods. If you're not cooking Indian, find different ways to add turmeric to your diet. If you don't like the taste of turmeric, in your food, you can take a curcumin capsule, make sure that it has piperine in it for the absorption. A lot of turmeric pills being sold in the market is only plain turmeric. So you want to make sure that you're not wasting your money on those pills and there should be piperine or black pepper in it. Now the beauty of black pepper is not just the absorption. Black pepper helps us with nausea, it helps us with headaches, it helps us with migraines, it helps us with poor digestion. In fact, there has to be a whole separate video on the health benefits of black pepper because they are immense. So when you're having piperine, you're having the turmeric together, it's digestion, it's anti-inflammation, it's everything together. All the properties of this amazing golden spice will be enhanced when it's combined the right way with black pepper and the right medium, which is a good healthy fat. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.